Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at my vintage Pokemon card collection. Uh, this is going to include a couple of different sets, including base set, uh, fossil, uh, jungle, and all that good stuff. There's some additional stuff in here as well. To be honest with you, I haven't taken a look at my album in a long time. Uh, just because uh, there are, uh, I finished uh, some of the uh, most of the sets that I have in here, so uh, this is going to be a bit of a surprise for me too. Uh, also, before any before we start, uh, I want to say that Gamegenic makes some fantastic stuff. This is really good quality material. Uh, the album itself is fantastic. Um, this is the larger. I think this is probably the largest album that they have for sale. Uh, at the moment. Highly recommended. Um, I'm not sponsored in any way, but if you're looking for a really solid album, uh, really good price, uh, Gamegenic is, is the way to go. So let's get into it, guys. All right, so let's jump in. Uh, first page, we have our base set. Uh, a lot of these cards uh, that I'm showing you guys today are cards that I pulled myself, including this Charizard. Uh, most of them are in pr pretty good condition. Uh, there are some pretty beat up cards because they are cards from a childhood. Um, and then some of the cards are cards that I purchased quite recently. Everything on this page though is um, cards, were cards that I pulled when I was uh, younger. Really fantastic. Uh, a set of cards here. There's something about the old uh, artwork that just is absolutely beautiful. This uh, goes for our first page. And then, uh, not sure how to go through this stuff, but yeah, this is pretty much uh, the full base set. I believe my Venusaur is from base set too. So that's what I need to replace um, to complete my base set. But this is pretty much everything. There, this Raichu is something I purchased uh, quite recently to complete the set. Um, sometimes, you know, uh, it's good to look around, guys, uh, locally. Uh, if you live in the United States, then you're going to have a lot of access to some of these beautiful cards uh, on eBay, Troll and Toad, and websites like that. Be careful, though. Uh, sometimes the cards don't come in the condition that you expect. But for me, uh, I don't grade any of my cards, so uh, condition is not uh, super important. But of course, I would prefer my cards to be delivered in the condition that it was advertised, right? Uh, some just super nostalgic. I remember uh, when Pokemon first came out, uh, it was just so, so cool. Uh, these were like $5 a pack back then. Uh, and I lived in Singapore, so it was five dollars uh, Singapore, uh, Singapore dollars. I don't know how much it was per pack in the U.S., but man, did I have a good time! I remember, uh, you know, I I'll pull out some of these cards towards the end just to show you guys some of the condition of the cards. They're not all in perfect condition, but I have a lot of the commons and uncommons, so I picked uh, a lot of the commons and uncommons. I picked the best condition to put in here. Um, these are, this is a collection that I, I uh, you know, expect to, to pass down to my children one day, you know, not in terms of like value, but in terms of, you know, just passing down stories and like wonderful, uh, passing down the wonderful hobby of playing uh, with these cards. Uh, so this, this marks the end of base set one. Oh, you know, I have to mention, uh, I didn't include trainer cards because I don't have a lot of the trainer cards. I really am just chasing the uh, Pokemon cards. Oh, uh, sorry, yeah, the actual Pokemon. Uh, and, and no energy as well. Of course, I have the full energy set, but if I'm not going to include the trainer, then I don't see the point of including um, the energies. Uh, also, these are kind of placeholders, just so the sets are separated uh, nicely. Also, if I included the trainer cards, then it wouldn't fit in this whole album. Uh, this is the largest album that... Game Genic has, and it does fit most of my vintage uh, collection here. So, and then we move on to, to, what is this, Jungle, Jungle set, which is the second ever set of Pokemon cards. Uh, just absolutely beautiful artwork. Absolutely love this, this uh, Flareon 
just the background is, is just so colorful and beautiful. Cliff Abel is also a really cool one. Just super nostalgic. I think out of all of these, uh, only the Mr. Mime is a card that I purchased recently and this pincer. Apart from that, uh, they're all pulled by me. Uh, yeah, just going back to these is so nostalgic. Look at this Eevee here. <laughs> it's hardly uh, recognizable, isn't he? Like Eevee today, it does not look like this. So I'm not gonna say too much. I want you guys to just take it all in. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, cards as much as I do. I think with these, uh, with this set, uh, I didn't collect all of the rares. So if I have like the hollow version of that card, I wouldn't purchase it in the um, in the non-hollow variant. Uh, just because I think if I have the hollow, then there's no point in getting the non-hollow. So that's a little bit cheating. If you guys want to say that my set's not complete, I completely agree. Uh, it's not complete without all of the cards in it, including the trainers and uh, energies. So uh, forgive me if I'm, you know, cheating a little bit here. And then we move on to our fossil set. Uh, just this Articuno is so beautiful. Like a lot of the Pokemon that you'll see here, uh, if you look at the current, um, you know, artworks are completely different, right? Like this Dragonite complete is, is, is totally different than Dragonite you would uh, see in today's cards, which is why I love them so much, because they've evolved uh, in terms of their form, in terms of the, how they're represented, uh, have evolved so much. I personally like this version uh, of, of the, uh, the artwork just because it's so nostalgic and beautiful. Like if you see, look at this Gengar is fairly new. It's kind of different, or this Dito, uh, it's by a different artist. But these two, uh, they look like, uh, they're like the original out artwork for that Pokemon. One second, guys. Sorry, guys, we're back. Uh, we had someone at the door, had to answer it. But we're back. Uh, yeah, a lot of the artwork that, that was um, back then is a lot different than a lot of the Pokemon uh, artwork that you'd see today, which is why I love it so much. Um, even this Arbok, you know, uh, he looks a lot more menacing in this one. If I could just pull it out here. Definitely different, right? Arbok, if you see in uh, today's artwork, will look a lot more anime-ish. Um, also, if you guys didn't know, uh, these cards were printed by Wizards of the Coast, uh, which is the company that makes Magic the Gathering cards. Uh, they're the, sort of the same quality. Uh, they would feel completely different, though, from uh, today's Pokemon cards. Because today, uh, Pokemon cards are manufactured by the Pokemon Company, I believe. And this Magmar is one of the be most beautiful artworks, in my opinion. I'll just pull them out. I'll pull out more. I'll, I'll go back and pull out more cards for you guys to look at. Really beautiful uh, artwork here. I just like how they're so different from like the anime uh, artwork. And then <laughs> look at look at the Ekans. Like that that looks nothing like Ekans today, right? <laughs> I struggle to find anything that looks like uh, what it looks like today. So uh, as usual, uh, like before, the uh, rares are not complete because uh, I, I have all the hollows. A hollow versions of the rares. I don't feel like I need to collect the rares as well. Uh, oh, these are just, uh, this marks the end of the first three sets of Pokemon, uh, which is base set, uh, jungle, and fossil. So these are just some of the extras that I have. I have a ton of, of this Pikachu. Speaking of different artwork, um, this is a promo that was given out in uh, Pokemon League. So if you guys are not familiar with this, um, when a long time ago, uh, close to, you know, when, when, when Pokemon was super popular back in the day, uh, we had Pokemon League, which was um, in Singapore, it was located in uh, Toys R Us. So a really large Toys R Us um, 
and then you would have like a section of it blocked off. We'd have like tables and people would be playing on the floors. It was just so magical back then. And if you won a match, you would get one of these and they give out so much of this that um, I think I have like maybe 20. I did give out some of them to, to my friends and, and to, uh, you know, uh, now I have, you know, uh, nephews and nieces that play Pokemon. Uh, and this is uh, the same thing. This was just a different season. This Jigglypuff, uh, just amazing cards. These are extras. Uh, this Mewtwo is the very first Mewtwo that I pulled. Uh, it's very faded. If you guys want to take a look at it. It's super uh, faded compared to my original Mewtwo. Let me just pull it out to show you guys. I personally really like the faded one. I don't know if the camera is going to capture it. I think it would. This is a lot different in color than this one. Uh, just because probably this one was used a lot more. I did pull both um, myself. This one I pulled first, obviously. So really, really had so much fun when I was a kid. I remember just walking, you know, like walking to a train station. We used to, they used to sell Pokemon cards everywhere. Nowadays, you have to go to specific like game shops, right? To, to purchase uh, Pokemon cards. Uh, they used to sell them everywhere. And so we would have like bookstores, you know, these like tiny little bookstores in the corner of a, of a train station and they would have Pokemon cards. And I used to walk like 30 minutes, 40 minutes just to get like two booster packs. Uh, I remember it was so much fun. Uh, and when I pulled a hollow, you know, me and my friends would be like screaming. <laughs> and then we move on to the newer sets. This is, um, I don't remember if it's Gym Challenge or Gym Heroes. I think it's Gym Challenge first, right? Uh, this is, I believe, also a completed set. Uh, I think this is fully complete. Without the trainers, of course. Unfortunately. So it's not fully complete in that way. But I have all the Pokemon here. Uh, we have Blaine's Charizard. Blaine's Charizard was the only, one of the only expensive ones, I think, that I had to purchase uh, for this set. Very beautiful uh, Blaine's Charizard here. Really good condition. I did take the risk and buy it off of eBay. I forgot how much I got it for, probably like around 200. Um, pretty good condition. I think it's, you know, it's probably near, near mint. Maybe LP. There are some, uh, I believe there are some, there's some edge wire, but very, very minor. Really beautiful card. Uh, we'll take a look at some of my favorites here. Raichu was one also that I purchased. I did get it for a pretty good deal though. Very pretty. Some of these are probably going to start to look like the anime uh, artwork. Very pretty. Really good condition. A lot of the cards, um, I've had a lot of luck, uh, a lot of luck in purchasing um, cards online in that um, the condition has, has or uh, was very similar to uh, what it was advertised as. This Machamp is just absolutely cool, isn't it? Like, it looks like he's shooting off like lightning. <laughs> just amazing. Oh, this is a, a sleeve, Pokemon, Pokemon sleeve. Really nice. This is one of my favorite sets, just because this artwork for this set is just so beautiful. Oh, this was also one that I purchased. I think this one has a slight ding on the card, which I was pretty disappointed by, but it's a pretty small ding. It's not very noticeable. I can't even see it now. It's kind of hard to spot. I have to take it out of the sleeve, but I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna do that. I forgot where the ding is. <laughs> Otherwise though, uh, apart from the ding, this would be like, a, in my opinion, like a solid PSA 8. But because there's a ding somewhere, I can't find it. Maybe I was wrong, maybe it just healed. <laughs> I, hope, I hope maybe it's gone. I can't see it at all. All right, I'm not gonna spend too much. Oh, here it is. It's in the corner right here. I guess the camera's not gonna capture it, but there's a, like a little slight bend over here. Yeah, can't, it won't capture it. 
but otherwise really good condition card. I think it would still get like a seven or an eight. I, Mewtwo is one of my favorite Pokemon, it's like top five ever. So uh, pulling him uh, or, or like purchasing him was like a must. It took me like a year to complete this set uh, from the cards that I already had. Uh, just hunting cards is so much fun, you guys. Uh, this is another, this this one I pulled myself when I was a kid. I think I have two copies of this. I'll start like selling or giving away some of the cards that I have uh, just because I want like the new generation of Pokemon collectors to, to have, to enjoy them. This is absolutely beautiful. Like the sky, the purple sky, so cool. Super, 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 super cool. God, I love, I love uh, vintage Pokemon cards. So you, surprisingly, it was much more difficult in finding like the common rares and uncommons for, for this set than it was to get um, the hollows. A lot of the hollows people are interested in, in, in selling, um, but a lot of the commons, I think people just don't bother. They're actually worth quite a lot of money. Like an Erica's Bulbasaur would be worth like maybe four or five bucks. Uh, which is a lot. So I'll start selling uh, or giving away some of mine um, just so collectors today, you know, kids today get to have them. Uh, like there's certain commons and uncommons that were out of stock on uh, Troll and Toad, which is surprising. I try to purchase from Troll and Toad because they're somewhat verified. So they're not gonna be like, um, oh, this, this Pikachu is so lovely. Uh, they're not gonna like not send you the cards, you know? Whereas eBay, it's a little more risky. But as I've said, I've been very lucky in that not only have the items arrived, whatever that I purchased, um, but it had always arrived in the condition that uh, it was advertised as. So really uh, props to those good sellers. Um, I have some of the trainers. Uh, here I have Sabrina. Man, I used to have the hops for Sabrina. She's she's pretty, like creepy. Like I was always into the weird girls when I was in school. It's a little too much information, but, but Sabrina was definitely my type, you know? She was a mysterious, mysterious girl. Uh, and then I have Giovanni, Blaine. I guess I have doubles of most of this. I guess I included a lot of the rare uh, trainers too, but it's not complete. It's not complete. I don't have, uh, the reason I, I, I set it up this way is that I have no intention of completing it. I might get some of the older trainers, like the, the actual uh, gym trainers, like uh, Misty, Brock, that kind of stuff. I will purchase, um, but apart from that, I don't see a point. These are just doubles. Also, they released uh, two Gyaradoses in one set, which is pretty cool. It's kind of unusual. I like those kind of unusual moves. Uh, and then we move on to Gym Heroes. Uh, oof, this is one of my favorites right here. Rockets Hitmonchan. I was always a big fan of uh, Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. Super, super cool. Oh God. I'll be right back, you guys. There's someone at the door. <laughs> We're back again. Uh, sorry, there's someone at the door again. A lot of deliveries today. Uh, but this Hitmonchan was also something I purchased recently, and once again, condition is pretty great. There's some edge wear here. Not a lot, though. I'd still consider this, like, near mint, you know. This is probably like a PSA 8. There's nothing on the hollow part, no scratches. Pretty, pretty good. Yeah, love that. I like this because it's in the, st in the old style of the artwork. Fairly modern card in terms of like, um, you know, it's it's pro it's probably like this was like um, a year or two I think probably like third year card, right? I don't know I don't remember. But really really cool stuff. Uh, let's take a look at something else here. Ah, this one's this was very cool. I almost got, I almost made a huge mistake with this one. Uh, so there was a guy selling this card for like fairly decent price. I think it was like $30. $30. Uh, this was like a year ago. Um, but it had a really big like crease in the middle. 
and I didn't spot it at all, <laughs> like even from the pictures. Like it had like five pictures on, on the ad, um, on like our version of eBay, um, but it didn't, like it only showed up at one, on one of the photos, but it still showed up. So the seller, it's not like the seller tried to dupe me, but you know, they didn't mention the condition of the card or anything. So I almost got that card. <laughs> He made a huge mistake. My friend spotted it. I was like about to purchase it and I sent it to him. And then he was like, uh, dude, do you see that crease right in the middle of the card? And it was like right here, it was like right on the hollow part. But this one though came in a very good, in very good condition. As you can see, this is probably near mint. Uh, yeah. We'll go back, um, you know, we didn't take a look at some of the older cards, like the base set cards. So we'll take a look at those as well. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard for me to reach in here without hitting the camera. Okay, and then there you have it, Rocket Moltres, another card I'm in love with. And then of course, Rocket Scyther, really, really cool. Uh, yeah, look at that background, man. Looks like he's like, flying off from like a nuclear blast or something. Fantastic. I don't remember playing with these cards though. I think right around this time, I just became like a collector of cards. Never really, uh, never really played competitively. I mean, I never really played Pokemon competitively in, in that way, but I was always playing it though. Like I remember, oh my God, I would go to Toys R Us every weekend uh, with my brothers to play with other kids. It would be like the highlight of the week. So much, so much, so much fun. This Rocket Snorlax was one of those cards that was uh, I really had to hunt down. Well, not really, that's not true. Uh, I always try to buy locally, just because I, I like to support uh, local, you know, people who are trying to uh, let go of their collection. So I do purchase locally most of the time. It's also better in terms of uh, uh, shipping cost. Uh, you know, having to deliver cards from the, all the way from the U.S. is expensive, so. But this was something I, I, I really had to hunt down because nobody, nobody here had it. I even posted on, like, Facebook in the community and nobody had this. It's just a regular rare, but apparently pretty hard to find here. So, my, my thing is, I believe there are a lot of people out there here locally. I live in Indonesia, Indonesia. So, uh, but they're not willing to let go of their collection yet, you know? They just haven't really found the time to like search for their collection. We are kind of a small community here, but very, very, uh, people are willing to pay a lot of money to, to get some of these cards, including me. Uh, look at this Haunter, man. Look at that artwork. <laughs> right? If, if I just like took the artwork and showed somebody, people would think like, oh, is this fan made? You know, is this fan art? No, it's not, buddy. This is actual, actual official art. Very cool, isn't it? This was also right around the time where like, there are different versions of a card, I think. Like you, there, there's a Sabrina's Haunter. I think in the previous set, there's also like a Sabrina's Haunter. Wait, I don't know, I could be. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't have my facts straight here. Uh, really cool. This Charmander is worth a few bucks too. So if you have a collection, you guys, contact me. I might be interested, especially if you're local. Another version of uh, Serge's Pikachu. I like the other one better. Oh, there's also two versions of Brock's Onyx. Just the different styles. Like, I'm not a fan of like the 3D, uh, three-dimensional cards. Uh, these like 2D artwork is just absolutely flawless in my opinion. Let's take a look at this uh, Surge's Magneton here. I have double of these. Look at that background, it's so pretty. I missed a time when they were using like different varieties of these backgrounds. 
Nowadays, most of the background looks kind of the same. I think it's, it has to do with like the holographic. Uh, also guys, always look for the swirl. I guess swirl cards are worth a lot more. There's no swirl in this one. I don't know if any of my cards has swirls, actually. I think my Clefable might have it. Let's take a look at that one. Swirl, so if you look here, I think that might be a swirl. Yeah, that's a swirl right there. Yeah, so keep an eye out for the, this type of swirl. I don't know if that's a swirl, but I'm pretty sure it is. You know, they're apparently worth quite a bit more if you have a swirl. And that's going to be the end of my collection, uh, my vintage Pokemon card collection. Let's go back to base set, show you guys some of my base set, base set cards. I want to be a lot more careful here. These are very old cards. Very beautiful Gyarados here. Let's look for that swirl. Is this going to have one? I don't think so. This one's a little hard to spot. I guess maybe this one wouldn't have it, huh? Just because there's no like stars on it. Yep, one of my favorites. Look at the art. Even the colors are like different. This one looks a little more realistic than, than you know, modern day Gyarados. And then of course you have the classic, classic Charizard. I have, uh, I think I've collected like four of these now. For, you know, two of them I'm keeping for an investment. Uh, possibly going to get them graded. These ones, though, are purely binder cards. I guess you have to look at, at it at like a very specific angle. But yeah, I can't, can't find the swirl on this one. This one's fairly decent collect, uh, collection. Condition. Uh, there's always going to be a little bit of edge wear in terms of, uh, like it looks kind of shiny on the edges. It's just the way the cards were made. Sometimes you pull them out, out of the pack and they're already like that. So I'm not going to pull it out of the sleeve. Uh, this is another Pokemon sleeve. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to step out here. Let's put that in. Uh, and then let's take a look at this Blastoise. We have to take a look at the, the starters. Uh, once again, another card that I pulled. There's a little bit of a scratch here. You know. Very, otherwise very beautiful card though. Ah, uh, just the colors and like the art. So nostalgic. Man. I remember those days, like, there. I don't think there was such a thing as, like, a meta deck. I don't, I, I wouldn't know, because I, I didn't play to win. I played just to play the cards that I love, you know? I, pl I would play a deck, even if it sucked and lost every single match, but I would still play that deck because I liked the Pokemon in it, and I miss those days so much. Uh, this one, you can try to spot the swirl, but there's no swirl on this one. Swirl. I guess it's base set too. The hollows are different, probably. Yeah, there's some swirls on this one. Uh, yep, very, very cool. Uh, there's someone at the door again. I'll be right back. You guys, one moment. All right. That's going to be the last time, I hope, you guys, that someone rings my doorbell. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this Venusaur is going to be replaced hopefully by a base set Venusaur sometime soon. If you have one, maybe contact me. I might be interested in getting one, but this one I'll never sell because it's one that I pulled myself. Back in it goes. And I think that'll do it guys. That is my, not my entire set, but this is most of my vintage Pokemon card collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and maybe comment down below what you guys want to see next. Uh, I'll be glad to do it for you guys. So, I'll see you in the next one.